this outrageous woman, this woman that carried a blender to Prince Charles's wedding, was the kindest, sweetest person, like she could not have been more Hamisher. She would say anything, things that I could never say in a million years. Uh, she would say in her comedic way, um, and I think that those are probably uh, my fondest memories. Three holidays you're supposed to have fun on as a Jew. Uh, one is Hanukkah, one is Passover, and one is the sack sale. And those are the three. <laughs> Joan is the standard bearer for that wonderful tradition of Jewish humor. Like, you know, I grew up looking at Tody Fields, Jackie Mason, and then I finally met Joan and, you know, the Ne Plus Ultra. She always was vocal. It's, she wasn't a practicing religious Jew in any way, but she was very Jewish. I was amazed at Israel, what they have taken out of nothing. What they have taken, they gave us the worst possible land and we have made it into Eden. The world is, je I don't know, is it jealousy? I don't know. She was either um, dismissive and not interested in something, or she believed very, very strongly in it. Oh, so Selena yeah, Gomez. Oh, yeah, that college grad. Let's see if she can spell Palestinian. You know, I think when it, when it pertains to um, her faith and um, her support of Israel, I think she, she never edited herself, you know? she was the first person you could go to for a reaction and she would tell it like she believed it was. I think it really upset her that she was one of the few voices, really the lone voice, to take a stand. I think there are people out there that are certainly bigger on the political landscape. There are a lot of people that were more famous than she was and none of them spoke out. And I, I think she spoke out more out of anger. I know because I have been over there. That's how I know. And I wish the world would know. And BBC should be ashamed of themselves. And CNN should be ashamed of themselves. And everybody, stop it already. Yeah, that's John River. That's John River. She will tell it to you the way it is. She never was afraid of the truth. And truth is challenging. Truth is a harder road. And she chose to take the truth, the harder road, and say it the way it is. That's the thing. There's an underpinning of incredible intelligence in her humor, you know, she knew what she was doing. I think I know how to make it stop. I think every Palestinian should get a nose job because once somebody's had a nose job, they won't fight because they're scared the new nose will get broken. I think we should send over every great Jewish plastic surgeon doctor, fix their noses, and there will be peace in the Middle East. I remember saying to Melissa at Joan's apartment, if Joan could see what has gone on in the media the last three, four, five days, she would die. And I think she would want to be remembered exactly how she was remembered. I think uh, we would all like to be remembered, or at least by, by our uh, children and grandchildren, the way um, so many millions remember Joan Rivers. You know, I, I know Joan would be incredibly proud that Melissa was here to accept this award on, on her behalf. I, her Israeli heritage and Israel in particular meant so much to her. You were so lucky to have had that Yiddish tour de force of a mother. I always was proud being around Joan. Proud being a Jew, proud being, proud being a designer, proud being an Israeli, proud being a human being, because she, made, she had human dignity.